Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and that's a 70 Chevelle and the color on this thing is killer. It is like a deep graphite gray, just looking sweet. And then as you see those stripes, man, those are more of a charcoal gray, just looking absolutely gorgeous, man. And she's a 70, she's a big block. It's got a fuel injection, Edelbrock Ramjet type setup on it. Just looking amazing. As you look down the side of it, straight as an arrow beautiful paint job on this thing i tell you the sun is really making the uh, metallic dance we got the uh, riddler wheels on it looking sweet making this baby resto mod now it says 454 on the side but there's actually a 402 up front as you can see the interior looking sweet also we got aftermarket um seats in it i almost said wheels the steering wheels i have to mark it also um, back seat looks sweet we got kenwood speakers back there we got a headliner looking sweet the dash looks stock but in those stock locations are all customized uh, gauges all looking sweet it's got the staple shifter in it that center console's looking good. The carpeting's looking great. I mean, just everything about this car, just absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of the hottest cars on the market these days too is a 70 Chevelle. Like I said, I can't get over the paint, just as smooth as can be. I tell you, it's about four or five different colors. Silver is what I see. Of course, I got sunglasses on, but man, is it sharp. It is just dancing in that sunlight. Then there's metallic in the stripes too. And of course this key doesn't work the trunk. That key doesn't work the trunk. We got 14 other keys to go. Hey, there you go. Third try is a charm. We got some carpeting in here and you can see this has got a, later I talk about the uh, coating on the bottom side. It's like a bed liner material. Really, really nice. And then they got this nice carpeting in here. You can see the uh, paint work on the gutter system. You can see that the uh, rubber's been done. Also, I always check the lips. This lip is nice and tight, nice and smooth. You can see the paint work looks good. And this is just one beautiful Chevelle. I tell you what, pull into any car show with this one and be proud for sure. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do consignment. That means we own this beautiful Chevelle. So you know we spent our time before we laid out our money. And then we put them up on the lift and inspect every car and every truck. That way we can tell you all about them when we call at 70 Chevelle time, baby. We got big block under the hood. We got a beautiful restoration on it, just looking sweet. We got people pulling out in front of us. Brakes are working good. <laughs> I tell you what, these are one of the most popular cars out there right now, guys. These things are hotter than a firecracker. We do not have a 70 Chevelle in our inventory very long at all. So please call Tom at 248. 974-9513 and he'll tell you how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. Sounds awesome, man. I love the exhaust on this thing. Actually, I already done the video on the bottom. We did that a little bit ago. The bottom of this car is just phenomenal. Now, I know you guys that watch the videos all the time know my Chevelle story. I got scared by a LS6 Chevelle one time. He just whipped my ass, man. I tell you, I thought, thought I had something for him. So 
you you got a Chevelle story, please share it with us. We'd love to hear it. You know, a lot of them were out there, man. They built a lot of these cars, so a lot of guys uh, had the pleasure of owning one back in the day. Now, we're very close to the airport here in Detroit, so if you want to come visit us, we'd love to have you. You can see down here on the dash, everything's looking sweet here. Those aftermarket gauges look like they belong in the stock locations there. Then we got an aftermarket radio that's in the stock location and aftermarket uh, vintage air controls that are also in their stock location. I'll tell you, this thing has got a real nice uh, rumble to it too. When you put the hammer down, she really gets the up and goes. Just listen to this baby. Smooth as can be, too. There's plenty of room in this thing, too, for a big guy. I have the seat all the way up, and uh, I am in perfect position. So if you're uh, over six foot tall, this seat will go back quite a ways. So we're coming up on the shop now here at 15100 Keel Street. We've got somebody doing donuts out in front of us here. So stick with us now is when we're going to put this baby up in the air so you can check out the bottom side. All right, we're underneath the Chevelle now, and man, is it pretty under here. As you can see, the tank has got some great paint on it. That might actually be powder coat. I mean, it is sharp. You can see it's got like a bed liner material on the bottom of the floorboards here. You can see the frames painted up. You can see the exhaust is new. Of course, these are real nice hangers. They're all, all rubber isolated. We got brand new shocks. We got brand new disc brakes. It also looks like the rear end housing possibly could have been powder coated. We got this nice aluminum uh, cover on here. That's covering up a 308 gear and an open rear end. Uh, we got aftermarket uh, suspension parts uh, up on the top and down on the bottom and the extra braces are all powder coated up looking sweet. I mean everything about this thing is looking good under here. We got some big Flowmaster mufflers here. You can see the whole floorboard system down here has got that undercoating on it. And what's nice about this, it's not that stuff you can stick your fingernail in. This is nice and dry so you can actually wipe this off and keep it nice and clean. Uh, we got X-Pipe in here also, O2 sensor in here. Uh, we've got uh, 700R4 Trans, that is an automatic and it is a four-speed automatic, so you've got that overdrive. We got aftermarket lower control arms and upper control arms and aftermarket disc brakes. Uh, it looks like the sway bar bushings are new, the rotors are drilled and slotted, uh, the front frame horns are nice and straight. Uh, we got aftermarket radiator in here with some big electric fans with a fan shroud. Uh, the core support itself is in good shape. Um, I think I already mentioned the front frame horns. That's something I look at on every car. Make sure they're nice and straight. Back side of the front bumper is just as clean as the front side. And then take a look at these wheels, man. We got Riddler wheels there looking sweet. Um, I've been having a hell of a time seeing. I think my eyes are going. Um, 235, 45, 18s. And then look up in that wheel well too. Look how nicely it's painted. Isn't that sweet? And then as we work our way down, I tell you guys all the time, you gotta look at the rockers. You gotta look at the bottom edge of these front fenders. Uh, the bottom of this rocker is beautiful. You can see the painter wasn't afraid to bend over. And the paintwork on this frame, also beautiful. Again, I can't tell whether this has been powder coated or painted. I'll tell you, I feel it uh, also on the inside. So most likely the frame was powder coated too. If it wasn't powder coated, it's got a nice spray job on it. Um, let's see, I see, right there it is. 275, 40, 20 is out back here. Again, same good looking wheels and we got the Willwood disc brakes. Let's lower this baby down and take a look under the hood. All right, under the hood here, we got a lot of shine under here. Look at this. We got all kind of chrome, all kind of polished aluminum, all kind of beautiful, bright, shiny black paint. And then, of course, you can see that Edelbrock Ramjet set up on there looking sweet. Uh, we got the Chevrolet valve covers all polished up looking good. We got the, uh, you see the injector uh, rail there also. You can see that the uh, power brake setups all chromed up looking good. It's got a late model uh, power steering pump. This is the reservoir for the power steering pump right here. You can see that beautiful paint on the inside of the uh, wheelhouses here. 
Uh, the paint, uh, the motor's painted up orange, looking good. The cover on the timing uh, belt is aluminum and shiny. It looks like the uh, water pump is also aluminum and shiny. We got an aftermarket uh, setup here on the uh, bracketry and drive system up front. It is a serpentine setup. The firewall's been shaved and nicely uh, painted. You can see that's the dipstick for the trans right there uh, above the coil. Uh, it looks like it's got an MSD distributor in it. Looks like the wiper motor is also new and even the paintwork on the bottom side of the hood looks good. And look at that, even the latch is all shined up looking good. Guys, this is one sweet automobile. She's a 70, she's a Chevelle. She's fuel injected. It's got a 402 big block in it. The bottom's beautiful. It's got great color to it. Give us a call, 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your drive.